I made Cristiano one overall, but every time he scores a goal, he goes up a rating. And after that goal, Ronaldo was up to a two overall. We need to keep scoring goals with him until he gets better and better so that one day he can win the Ballon d'Or. But right now, he's 19 years old and he's probably the worst footballer on the planet. I bet your mom can even play football better than him. So let's go to the end of his first season with Columbus Crew and see how he does. You may be asking, why did I put him in the MLS? Well, it's simple. He has a famous name and they paid the most money for him. He might be terrible of football, but he's still Cristiano Ronaldo, so he will sell jerseys in America. We're back at the end of the season. Did Ronaldo score? Did he get more than one goal? Uh, there's nowhere to be seen here. He got one goal from seven appearances, which is pretty impressive, but he's naturally grown to a three overall, but yeah, it, it might be time to leave. To be fair, the MLS is not the worst league in FIFA. There are worse leagues, if you can believe that, so they'll probably go and send Ronaldo out on loan. The worst league in FIFA is actually the Irish League, so I wouldn't be surprised if they send Cristiano Ronaldo out out on loan to the Irish League. They probably will, to be honest. Well, we'll see. We'll see what they do. Let's go to next season and see what decision Columbus crew decide to make. Okay, let's have a look. Where did Ronaldo go? He's probably gone to the Irish League, right? Yeah, he's gone to Shelburne. Sure enough, he's gone to Shelburne, unsurprisingly. That is the Irish League. And here he is. He's up to actually a nine overall. So he's grown naturally himself pretty well so far. But he needs to score more goals. Maybe he'll have more chance to score in the worst league in, in FIFA. Yeah, it's kind of bleak. Did he get it on a loan move though? Or is it a permanent deal? It, it's a permanent deal. Wow. Oh my god, so he's actually a Shelburne player. Wow, okay, Ronaldo. That's a big move, actually. So he leaves the sunny shores of America. Well, to be fair, it is Columbus, Ohio. It's not exactly, like, the best place in the world. And he's going to come and live in Dublin. Brilliant. First game of the season now against Sligo Rovers. If Ronaldo scores, you have to subscribe. We lost 3-0. Great. Let's try again. If Ronaldo scores, you have to subscribe. Ah, didn't work. Damn it. One more try. One more try. They're getting absolutely cooked, by the way. Shelburne are terrible. If Ronaldo scores, you have to subscribe. Ah, 1-0. Come on, man. Anyway, please subscribe. <laughs> I tried my best, okay? It's not my fault if he doesn't want to score. Let's go to the end of this season now and see how he does again. Let's go to the final day of the season. Ronaldo might get a few appearances off the bench, but I'm not exactly optimistic. I'm really hoping he does. I'm really hoping that he can develop as a player, but I'm a little bit apprehensive about it. All Ronaldo needs to do is get a couple of goals so he can get a big move away and then start scoring for fun. Hopefully he can do that here at Shelburne. Let's see if he can. We're back at the end of the season. Any life for Ronaldo, please? Cristiano, he's... Uh, Oh, 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 he's got zero goals. Oh. The only goal he scored in his professional career is one that I scored with him. It's okay, though. There's a few games left in the season, and Shelburne are in the Conference League. So there's still hope, yes. Ronaldo got subbed off again. Okay. I'm really trying my best here, Cristiano. What about in the Conference League against Radomi Akurado? Oh, my God. 4 1 loss. They're getting smashed. We have two more Conference League games before the end of the season. Come on, Ronaldo. At least get a goal. Oh, my God. Just get a normal goal, please, Ronaldo. Please, uh, to all, maybe? Oh, my God. Ronaldo got subbed off in the first half. Zero goals. Literally none. For an 11 overall player, that is simply not good enough. Maybe next season will be different. He is slightly better going into next season now, but that is a bad start. That's a very bad start. Life in Dublin has not been kind to Ronaldo, and he is still probably the worst footballer in the world, and certainly the worst professional footballer in the world by, like, what, 30, 40 overall points? Is there anything I can change to help? Not really. I think putting Ronaldo up front alone like this is probably the best course of action, just to make sure that first of all he plays every game but then also that he actually like has his own role up front like if we were playing two strikers up front Ronaldo could just get ignored but this way he's the only guy up top so I'm pretty happy with the formation and how we're set out here it's quite a defensive formation which means Ronaldo is the man actually there is one thing I can do how many strikers oh my god there's a lot of strikers on this team okay I can't even release them all okay but I can get other players for other positions so let's try that I've gone out and signed some random free agents and I'm gonna release every single striker on this team that is not named Cristiano Ronaldo. There we go. Ronaldo is the only striker. Nobody else can play up front except number nine. Cristiano, actually he's number 13 for Shelburne and he's not even a number nine. He's he's 11 over. Do you know what? Don't even worry about it. First game against St. Pat's. Can Ronaldo score? No. And he got subbed off in the first half for Boyle. Okay, Boyle's getting released. I don't know who that is but he's gone. It's not Boyle the left back is it? Oh my god. Ronaldo got subbed off for a left back. <laughs> okay, well Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> Do you know what? That, that that's just ridiculous. That is absolutely insane. Right, we're at the next game here. It's Strade United versus Shelburne. Does he get subbed off again? In a one-all draw? He does. This time for Acosta. He's getting subbed off in the first half no matter what. There's literally nothing I can do about it. But the good news is he is actually starting. Even if Shelburne are going to finish last in the Irish League this season because they have no goal score, it doesn't matter because Ronaldo is playing. So here we go. I'm going to simulate to the end of the year, but this will be Ronaldo's first full season of starting football. He will play, well, I was going to say he'll play every minute of the campaign, but he won't play every minute of the campaign. He's going to 
going to get subbed off in the first half every time. But we'll see how he does it. Hopefully, he can score a few goals along the way. Fingers crossed. Final day of the season. And Shelburne are considerably last. 80 goals against. That has to be some sort of Irish League record or something. Ronaldo's up to a 14 overall. That's very good. 36 games and zero goals. Oh my god, he literally played every single game in the whole year and he didn't score. Oh, Ronaldo. Oh no. So let's try and play with him and see if he's actually able to score. Hold on. I'm going to put the difficulty to world class with three minute halves. So I should get a few chances on goal. Let's see if we can score with Ronaldo. Because I did it for his first ever goal. I mean, it, it did take a while, but I, I did do it. But yeah, this is going to be different. Here we go then. Ronaldo tips off. I'm really trying to help him out here. Oh, oh my God. The chance straight away. <laughs> I score with him immediately. Ronaldo gets his first goal of the season. Oh my God. So that's him up to what? Like a 12 overall? No, wait, what is he now? 14 overall. So he's up to a 15 overall now. Okay, that's good. That's good progress. Once he starts scoring goals in the Irish league, he's going to start flying up and rising. Oh, and we're going to concede, aren't we? Oh, you're joking. What a finish. That's the thing. This Shamrock Rovers team is actually the best team in the league. I'm pretty sure they won the league. And we're bottom of the league. So it's going to take a miracle. Play it into Ronaldo. Turn him, Ronaldo. Go on. Oh my God, now he got bodied. He just turns like a fridge. Like he can't move. Ooh, just have a shot from here. Okay, that was terrible. To be fair, maybe he can score from a corner. Oh, on his head. Ronaldo. No, not even close. That was the weakest header I've ever seen. Bit of pace. Go on, Ronaldo. Go, go, go. No, not even. Oh, oh, almost won it back. Ah, not quite. Yeah, he's just like one or two steps behind. Oh my God, look at Shamrock. They're so free flow. Oh my God, he actually skimmed me. And oh my God, he missed. Okay, I'm going to simulate from here. We've seen how bad Ronaldo is. Can he score again? No, he can't. We end the season last in the Irish League. And Ronaldo ends up with a massive total of one goal. But that that puts him up to a 15 overall. So let me change that now. And there we go. Ronaldo is a 15 overall player. Hopefully next season he can do something a little bit better. At least get a few goals. Do something. Anything. Please. All I want this season is a few goals. So let me come back maybe halfway through this season and we'll see how well Ronaldo's done. Ronaldo is naturally up to a 21 overall, but has he scored any goals? Please, Ronaldo. <laughs> Six goals. Oh my God, he actually scored. Bro, Ronaldo's the goal. Wow, what the hell? Okay, right. I, I'm going to add those six goals on now. So he's going to get up to a 27 overall. There we go. He's the team's top scorer. Oh my God. Average rating of seven as well. He's actually cooking. Oh my God, he's scoring goals. The video is alive. <laughs> okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down to the end of the season where there's more than 18 games to go. So Ronaldo could still score a lot more goals. We're going to go to this Dundalk game and we're going to pray that Cristiano Ronaldo can at least get into double digits and maybe a little bit more by the end of the season. We'll see. Back at the end of the year, Shelburne are third. Oh my God, the comeback. Please tell me Ronaldo's cooking. How many has he scored? 15. Oh my God. He's actually doing well. Oh my God, unbelievable. Okay, okay. So we can add 15. Oh no, we can't because we already added the six overall because he scored six goals. So we need to add nine more overall to his tally, which will bring him up to a 38 rating. Okay. I think he's still the worst player in the entire history of FIFA, but that's not bad. 38 is progress. And there we go. He's up to a 38 rating. We're getting there. We are getting there. The progress is coming along and it's coming along nicely. Final game of the season now against Dundalk. Can he get a goal to seal it? 2-1 win? Nah, no good. But he's not getting subbed off. That's good. At least he's not getting subbed off. Okay, maybe this will be the year now with Shelburne for Ronaldo. I really hope it will be. Did he make the team of the season? I think he made the team of the season. It flashed on the screen, but it went by really quickly, but I think he did. That's unbelievable. A terrible Cristiano Ronaldo still makes the Irish League team of the season. What a guy. Now this season, Ronaldo is still here. He's 22 years old. Remember the objective. We need to win him the Ballon d'Or. We need to get him to do that or, well, die trying, I suppose. Sounds a bit intense, but you know, it is what it is. Let's do the same thing. Let's go to July. Yeah, perfect. Let's go to July and see how Ronaldo's doing. Hopefully still scoring. Let's check on Ronaldo. He's up naturally to a 42 overall, which is really nice. He's just growing steadily by himself. But how many goals has the man scored? He's got six. Okay, that's not bad. It's the same amount as this time last season. I'm not going to add it on this time until the end of the year because I think that's kind of only fair. Like, I can't add the goals on every single game because that would just take forever. But I'm just going to keep checking up every once in a while. Maybe let's go to... Well, actually, let's just go straight to the end of the season. I think we're in European competition once again this year, which is amazing. Cristiano Ronaldo's actually scoring goals. He's actually doing stuff. I can't believe it. There's hope for the simulation. Because <laughs> the last thing I could want is Ronaldo just never scores a goal and he's just sitting there below 40 overall for like 15 years, which is perfectly possible. You need to go up four overall every year for 10 years to get to a 40 overall. And that would be quite impressive, especially if he doesn't play a single
single game of football. Anyway, he is playing, he is scoring, so that doesn't matter. We can proceed to the end of the season and just see how much Ronaldo scores. Final day of the season against Bohemians. Don't know why I said it like that, but anyway, you're stuck with it now. Ronaldo, 12 goals, 43 rated. Let's add that on. He's going to get up to a 55 now. Now he's actually going to be around the quality of his teammates. Is he actually going to be the worst player on the team? No, he's going to be the second worst player on the team. Progress. Oh my God, he's not the worst player anymore. Even though the guy that he's better than is 34 and is probably going to retire very soon. Doesn't matter. Ronaldo, the goat. Thank God. My glorious king is back. This team, by the way, is actually kind of nice. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, they have a 70 rated CDM. That's decent. Ronaldo might be their worst starting player, but I don't care. Okay, he's not the worst player on the entire team or in the entire league anymore. So that's nice. For the final game against Bohemians, can he get himself a result, a, a goal, anything? No, okay, he can't. But he didn't get subbed off. And that's what matters most, because if he did get subbed off, I'd probably cry. But progress, actual progress. Thank God. Isn't that incredible? Ronaldo playing football matches. Since when did Ronaldo actually play football? Well, uh, you know what I mean, in the simulation. Will he play next season for Bohemians? Yes. Will he play every game? Yes. Will he score every game? No. <laughs> I mean, there's a chance, but let's be honest, probably not. But who cares, man? It's Cristiano Ronaldo playing football again. His career is revitalized. We'll give him a... Okay, well, I wanted to give him a new contract. We'll do it at some other point. We might actually lose him now in the summer. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Who cares? I'm going to make sure to accept the preseason tournament invite so he gets the three extra games to play. I haven't been doing that recently. I don't know why. I just, oh my God, I declined it. Okay, brilliant. See, it's just a force of habit. What a waste. Anyway, let's go to the first game of the season and see if we can score. Come on, Ronaldo. Score in the first game of the season. 2-0 win. He gets a goal. Oh my God. Ronaldo's actually popping off. Let's go. Oh my God. All right, let's go to July. July seems like the right place to go to. I need to not forget to renew his contract now, but I can manage that. 3-1 win. Oh my God. All I need is goals, goals, goals. Come on, Ronaldo. Let's go. Now at the top of July, Cristiano Ronaldo. How are you? you doing my dear friend goal 13 oh my god he's absolutely popping off this is the year this is the year and Shelburne are not actually doing that well they're actually sixth in the league kind of mid table after the heights of last season but I don't care Ronaldo's popping off that's all I care about mate he's gonna get transferred away you know he actually might get a move away he's 56 rated but he's scoring so many goals he'll probably get a transfer and whoever he transfers to will be a very lucky team what I'll actually do is I'll leave Shelburne until the end of the transfer window I'll come back on the 1st of September and we'll have a little look if Ronaldo is still here. Okay, we're back at the start of September. Is there any sign of Ronaldo? No, he's gone. There's actually no strikers on this team anymore. Who's playing up front? Caffrey, oh my God. That is insane. They don't have a striker. Ronaldo's gone. He's gone. But where did he go? Because I haven't even upgraded him. I haven't even given him the upgrades for the amount of goals he scored. Cristiano Ronaldo has gone to Portsmouth. He's gone to England. 65 rated already. Oh my God. That is incredible. Ronaldo's at Portsmouth. All right, let's go to Portsmouth then. What the hell? Okay, we're here in Portsmouth. Ronaldo is... Oh my God, he's the sixth string striker. Maybe b long before that, actually. 65 rated, but we need to add on the 13 goals he scored for Shelburne, which would take him up to a 78. Has he scored any more goals while he's been here? No, he hasn't even got a game. Okay, but we're going to have to put him up to a 78 overall. He's had massive growth. That is ridiculous. That does happen, though, sometimes when players transfer. When they transfer, they just magically grow a few overall. And it seems like Cristiano Ronaldo has had that happen to him. He's now up to a 78 rating. He's the highest rated player on the team now. And he's going to be the starting striker. And he's in the championship. He has the potential to score a lot of goals, especially with what's left of the season. There's still only plenty of games to go. So let's go to January and we'll see what happens. The season's only starting here in the championship. We got halfway through the Irish League season because the Irish League runs from January to December instead of from August to July. But what we're praying for is a few Ronaldo goals and then a massive transfer. I'm talking Real Madrid, Barcelona, something like that. He's 24, but he's one of the fastest developing young prospects in the world. So one of these big clubs has to see him, sign him and snap him up and then hopefully he can win his Ballon d'Or. That's what I really, really want. Also, if you're enjoying this video, uh, like the video. That would do me a lot. Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Uh, win the Ballon d'Or with Ronaldo. Let's go and do it. Back in January, any sign of movement for Ronaldo? A lot of goals, yes? 10 goals. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's going to be 88 rated, but he's with Portsmouth. Okay, let's make him 80. Actually, can we make him 88? Are we allowed? I don't know. Okay, well, let's keep simulating and see what transfers come in from. I'm literally just going to go week by week and see what transfers come in for Ronaldo because he's going to get transfer offers at this point. And we lose to Rotherham. Oh, we draw with Rotherham, actually. That's okay. But Rotherham are terrible. Oh, we're in League One. Oh, my God. Not even in the championship. Ronaldo's like 78 rated. That is unfair. Any transfer offers for Ronaldo? 
no. That's insane. You know, I might put him on the transfer list. To be honest, he can do better than Portsmouth. Oh, I can't put him on the transfer list. I can put him on the loan list, though. No, I, I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. If I can transfer him, <laughs> he's going to stay in League One for the season. Let's go to... Well, we can't go to June because I want to see how many goals he scored for the year. Let's go to the 28th of June, right at the end of the month, just to see how many goals he scored. And then next season, he'll probably get a massive transfer. Uh, he might get to 99 rated this season. He's 78 rated already. Bro literally took his sweet, sweet time to get to 50 rated and now he's speed running the video. But he still needs to actually win the Ballon d'Or, which is a whole other question. Just because you're 99 rated does not guarantee you a Ballon d'Or victory. Well, it probably should, but it doesn't. So let's see what he can do. Will he reach 99? He, he probably will reach 99 rated, but we'll see. 28th of June! Uh, by the way, Portsmouth finished top of League One. Uh, we got promoted to the Championship. I have a funny feeling that Ronaldo won't be playing in the Championship. He's 79 rated. Uh, he scored 25 goals. He scored 25 goals. Um, yeah, he's a 99 rated player. And Ronaldo is now 99 rated, but of course we need to win the Ballon d'Or with him. That's the ultimate aim, to confirm him as the greatest footballer in the world. He'll probably get a big transfer this summer, so I'm going to leave. I'm going to come back on September the 1st, and uh, we'll see if Ronaldo's made a move. Actually, no. No, I'm not doing that. I'm going to do this myself, like a like a, like a a good YouTuber, instead of being a bad YouTuber. I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to look through the transfer offers myself and decide where I want to send Ronaldo. If there is transfer offers, if anyone can afford him, I hope they can. Ronaldo is never going to win the Ballon d'Or with Portsmouth. He needs to go to a big club. Not to say the Portsmouth aren't a big club, but you know, you know what I mean? Like a really like world-class, massive club, like a Real Madrid kind of thing. Let's add him to the transfer list and see who comes from. Any look for Ronaldo? Any transfer offers at all? No. Callum Lang. Great. Come on. Somebody has to come in for Ronaldo. We have an offer. I saw it pop up. An offer from Man City for 400 million. I have to accept that. I don't know if we're going to get another offer, so I'm going to have to accept it. Let's go to the first of next month. 400 million is insane. That's the most I've ever seen anyone come in for for a player. And we have 375 million. Ronaldo sold to Manchester City. Let's go over to Manchester City then. And now Portsmouth are one of the richest clubs in world football. However, Manchester City and Cristiano Ronaldo have one goal. Get Ronaldo that Ballon d'Or to confirm him as the best player in the world. He fell off when he went to Saudi Arabia. He needed a fresh start, so he came to the American League. But he sold his soul, lost all of his powers as a footballer, but he scored the goals to get back to the top. And he's ready to win that Ballon d'Or that he so desperately craves. And this is the team that he inherits. Erling Haaland is now, well, well he's, he's on the bench, mate, because we've got Cristiano Ronaldo to go up front. This team is ridiculous. We have Saliba and Romero, a Spurs player and an Arsenal player, playing for Manchester City. That makes so much sense. Thank you, EA. They also have Rafael Leao, Bradley Barcola, Phil Foden, Rodrigo, Ronaldo and Haaland. That is the most deep front line I have ever seen. And as well as these three, plus the three starters, they've got Oscar Bob, 85 rated. They've got McAtee. They've got Humphreys. This is insane. This team would benefit from a tactical change as well. I'm going to put them in a 4-3-3. It's going to be a 4-3-3 attack and it's going to work, I hope. Okay, they might be a little bit shallow at right back, but everywhere else they are ridiculous. This team is unfair and now Ronaldo's there as well. So what am I going to do? I'm going to leave, actually. There's no point in me staying here because Cristiano Ronaldo has the goals. What I'm going to do is go to the Ballon d'Or. I'm going to go to a different club so I don't impact Ronaldo's career at all or, or like I don't ruin the contract situation and then everyone leaves or do something like that because God knows I might mess it up and I don't want to mess it up. So we're going to get out of the way. We're going to go to the Ballon d'Or and we're going to see if he's nominated. Hopefully he is. But I am concerned because he did spend half the season last year at Portsmouth. The Ballon d'Or is done on the calendar year. So playing for Portsmouth would probably work against him. I don't think he's going to win the Ballon d'Or this year, but I'm just going to see if he's nominated anyway. We'll have a look. It's time for the Ballon d'Or. Is Ronaldo nominated? He is nominated. Oh my God. Vinicius Mbappe and Ahmed. I've got to study the competition here. Who's Ahmed? 92 rated Moroccan striker. Oh my God. He looks ridiculous, but he's not better than Ronaldo. Ronaldo gets the picture as well. Does that mean Ronaldo's going to win it? I hope so. Here we go. Come on, Ronaldo. Can he win the Ballon d'Or? Mbappe takes it. No. Oh my God. You're kidding me. What a joke. All right. Let's go to, let's go to April. Let's go to April and see how Man City are doing. Because if Man City have a great season and Ronaldo comes out as their best player, then he's more or less locked in for the Ballon d'Or. Like if they win the Champions League, Ronaldo's Ballon d'Or chances go right up. So let's see what we can do. Okay, we're back at Man City. How does the team look? Is the attacking depth still there? Uh, Foden is still here. They've signed Valverde as if they needed another center mid. That is ridiculous. They also signed Matisse de Litt, an old Rudiger. Who else have they got now? Oh, that's kind of it, really. Okay, so they did let some people go. Still, though, team is ridiculous. They're sixth in the Premier League, but they're still in the Champions League, which is what really matters. Like for the Ballon d'Or, especially. Like winning your domestic league is one thing, but I feel like the Ballon d'Or would prioritize continental success over league success. And if Cristiano Ronaldo can win this tournament, well, he's probably going to win the Ballon d'Or. He's 99 rated. He's literally a perfect card as well. 99 pace, 99 shooting, 99 everything. If he can win the Champions League, there is no reason that he shouldn't win the Ballon d'Or, especially if 
Murphy's Man City's best player. 2-0 win, Delit Man of the Match. Very good start. Manchester United player as well, by the way. Man City are just signing all of their rivals' players and then losing to their rivals. 3-2 to Arsenal. This makes no sense. Anyway, it doesn't matter. As long as they win the Champions League, that's all that really matters. 2-0 in the first leg. Can they get through? 5-2 on aggregate. Beautiful. Ronaldo Man of the Match as well. Let's go. Bayer Leverkusen now in the Champions League semi-final and we sim straight through. Can Man City get a win? It's a one-all draw on the first leg. Javi Simon's Man of the Match, but Man City now have to go away to Germany and win. Ronaldo wins Man of the Match on the weekend. But here they go. Champions League semi-final. Can they get the win? 4-2! Lay out Man of the Match. What a result. 3-1 away in Germany is insane. That's a ridiculous result. I did not expect that at all. And it's Chelsea in the Champions League final. Okay. All right. That's not bad. We've already written off the league. We know we're not going to do well in the league. That's okay. I can live with that. Let's go to the Champions League final then. Oh my God. This is a replay of the 2021 Champions League final that Chelsea won. 1-0. One Kai Havertz with the goal, I think. So let's see what happens. Hopefully, Ronaldo can win himself the Champions League. 3-0 on the final day against Luton Town. And now here we go. I'm kind of nervous. If Ronaldo wins this, he's going to win the Ballon d'Or. Because that's all that matters. Remember, Ballon d'Or is all that matters to prove himself as the best player in the world. And is he the top scorer? 36 goals. He certainly is. If he would keep on getting better, he'd be 135 overall. Um, you can probably get that in like FIFA Mobile or something. I don't know. I don't play FIFA Mobile. I wouldn't know. But let's go. Champions League final. Ballon d'Or is coming. What I'm going to do is sim the match, but I'm going to like watch it as it simulates. And I'm going to jump in. Probably around the 60th, 70th minute, I'm going to play it out myself. Here we go. Jumping into the Champions League final. It's nil-nil in the 67th minute. We need to go and win this now. For Ronaldo's Ballon d'Or campaign, we need to win this. Chip it in. Go on, Ronaldo. Oh, what a block. No. Chelsea have some insane players, by the way. They have Magnan in nets, but they also have Mbappe up front, which kind of seems like cheating. But anyway, like, look, it's Mbappe on the ball. That is ridiculous. Oh my God, he's already skinned me. No, Mbappe, please. They also still have Sancho. Give me that. Yoink. It's the second Champions League final that Sancho's played in, but it's the first that we've seen so far for Ronaldo. And if he can win the Champions League final as Man City's best player, he might just win himself the Ballon d'Or. And he's getting through, is he? Oh, yes! Oh, what a save! If Ronaldo scores the goal, I will lose my mind. It's the 80th minute already. Oh, my God. Palmer, no, please. Come on, Leo, win the ball. Oh, my God. No, we're not going to. It's just so good on the ball. Yes, Leo, he's won it back. Oh, ball day, you idiot. No, no, Palmer, please. Oh, my God, what a tackle. Okay, we're going. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're going. 90th minute. Can he play Ronaldo? What a ball! I'm going to dink him. Oh, yeah! <laughs> 90th minute, Ronaldo scores. Oh my God, what a goal. Oh my God, what a moment. Oh, that's legacy defining. That is mad. 92nd minute, Ronaldo scores. Oh my God, I am recording. I am recording. Oh my God. Ronaldo, oh, what a finish. In Man United Stadium, Man City versus Chelsea. It's going to be Man City's Champions League. And Ronaldo scores the winner. That is daft. <laughs> that is daft. All right, cool. We don't care. We don't care about the Champions League celebrations. We don't care about the Champions League trophy. We just care about the fact that we won the Champions League. We've done that. We're going to the Ballon d'Or ceremony now. And we're going to go and see if we can win ourselves the World's Best Player Award. Starting from a one overall, we're now at a 99 rating. And we have the accolades to back it up. Can we win the Ballon d'Or with Cristiano Ronaldo? And here we go. Ballon d'Or nominees are in. Who's going to get nominated? Rodrigo, Ronaldo, Laminia, Mal, and Kylian Mbappe. So we've got the oldest generation in Ronaldo. We've got the current generation in Mbappe. And we've got the new generation with Yamal. And also, Rodrigo's there as well. I don't really know what to tell you. He does feature on the list, but here we go. This is it. The Champions League animation is about to play, but after it does, we will find out if we have succeeded and if Cristiano Ronaldo is a Ballon d'Or winner. The trophy that he won last year that may have just won him the Ballon d'Or. The world's greatest player from a one overall to a 99 rated player to maybe the world's greatest. Can he win it? Yes, he can. He's there making his speech. Congratulations, Ronaldo. The 2031 Ballon d'Or winner from a one overall to to the 99 rated goes. And having that said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, then check out this video where I played with a full team of free agents and tried to win the Premier League. It was great. Thank you so much for watching this video.